Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ba'da a'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan al-rajim. In surah Taha. Qala lahum Musa waylakum la taftaru ala Allahi kathiban fayushitakum bi'adhaab. Wa qad khaba man iftara. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says over here, narrating a dialogue that occurred between Musa and his people. And over here, Musa alayhi salam is saying, وَيْلَكُمْ to his people. وَيْلَكُمْ لَا تَفْتَرُوا عَلَى اللَّهِ كَذِبًا Woe to you, do not lie upon Allah azza wa jal. لَا تَفْتَرُوا Do not fabricate upon Allah azza wa jal a, a lie. كَذِبًا فَيُسْحِتَكُمْ بِعَذَابٍ and if you do so, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may punish you by destroying you through a punishment. فَيُسْحِتَكُمْ بِعَذَابٍ وَقَدْ خَابَ مَنْ افْتَرَى And this is the point that I wanted to get to over here. After Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions what Moses said to his people, He gives you and I, dear viewer, dear brother, dear sister, a principle to live by. A maxim that we can apply in our lives you know some sort of principle that can lead us to success as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in other verses as well over here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says if you don't live by this principle then you will have a great loss قَدْ خَابَ مَنْ افْتَرَى whoever whoever lies whether it be lying upon Allah Azza wa Jal or just lying in general, you'll find that he'll always be in a state of loss. And subhanAllah, Allah uses the word over here, وَقَدْ خَابَ خَابَ uh, comes from the root word خَا يَا بَا which means فَوْتُ الطَّلَبْ which means that something that you're trying to seek, you're not able to attain. So if you're trying to, for example, lie and through this lie, you're trying to retain a job or maintain a job. You'll find that, you know, Allah's qadr will always eventually get back to you. And even if you are able to maintain this job today, later on, 10 years down the road, 15 years down the road, 5 years down the road, one day people will find out that you made that lie because of which you essentially had kept your job and then you might not have a job anymore. Or... One day people will find out that you don't, your wife, if you're lying to your wife about something that you're not supposed to be lying about. Because we know, we understand that lying between a husband and wife has a special situation and special circumstances. But let's say constantly you're doing something behind her back that is totally unacceptable. Or vice versa, the wife is doing something behind the husband's back constantly, something that is entirely unacceptable. For example, the wife brings into the household of the husband someone that he doesn't he dislikes a friend of hers that has a bad character so the husband says you know what uh, please dear keep this woman away from our house and she continuously brings her into the house while the husband is work at work or other places and constantly is she lying about it and eventually it will become clear to and manifest to the husband or vice versa to the wife that this woman or this man was lying to me. And that's the khaybah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about. قَدْ خَابَ فَوْتُ الطَّلَبِ That the individual will never be able to attain the object that he is trying to attain through this lie. مَنِ Whoever lies, this individual, قَدْ خَابَ He's in a state of loss. As in he's not able to attain the object that he's trying to attain through this lie. Now, you know, فَوْتُ الطَّلَبِ could have another understanding as well. That... Even if you are able to live your entire life through lies and you're able to, you know, fool people and you're a smart, slick individual, but guess what, Akhi, guess what, Ukhti? Eventually, on the day of judgment, you will have the khaybah. You'll have the loss. You'll have the loss. Even if in this world you're able to maintain or acquire or, you know, collect a lot of goods through your lies, collect a lot of you know, positive things that you thought were positive, eventually when you get to gen when you get to the hereafter, you'll find that those things weren't very positive at, at last. And there will be a wabal on you on you upon the day of judgment. There will be a calamity 
that you will feel as if it's a calamity upon you on the Day of Judgment. And this is my message to you, Brother Abdul Wahab Salim from Medina. وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين